Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. RBI Deputy Governor Viral Acharya has lashed out at the government for trying to undermine the authority and curb the independence of the central bank. The talk point question we are asking is, is Viral Acharya's speech just another tussle or shows Modi government's inability to work with RBI? Samir Ghosh, General Secretary at the All India Reserve Bank Employees Association has said, Viral Acharya has reacted to the government's constantly nibbling away of RBI's power. According to estimates, there is a capital surplus of Rs 3.6 lakh crore in the RBI kitty and there is mounting pressure on the RBI to transfer part of that money to the government. Ashwini Mahajan, national co-convener of the Swadeshi Jagran Manch has said, the independence of the RBI is a farcical and faulty narrative. The RBI is not accountable to the people of this country, the government is. What former RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan started on the monetary policy front was basically an imitation of the US policy. We need to understand the contours of India. Nirupama Sondara Rajan, senior fellow and head of research at Pehli India Foundation has said, the public narrative has pitted the government against the RBI. This is not about who trumps whom. It is about learning to build consent, sometimes easily and many times unwillingly, without compromising the integrity of the economy or financial stability. Ashwin Parikh, managing partner at the APA Services, has said, the recent spat may have come from frustration that has dragged on for far too long. The regulator has been looking for legislative support and has got none. On the other hand, precious time was spent by the RBI to manage the demonetization impact. This is Fatima Khan and to read more of these commentaries, follow the print.